microcosm of his reactivity. <clears throat> and lack of impulse control. Probably better than he does usually. Yeah. But the movement of the thing yes. is just making the brain run towards it. Yes. Right? Um, you can see him stopping himself with that in his head. But that's, that's the desire. Simply because it's rolling, yes. right? Now, why isn't he touching it? Why did he stop himself? Is it because I taught him the word truck and then said no truck? No. It's because things, in our hierarchy, the way that I've entered the conversation or the, the relationship is through hierarchy. I built that in our relationship. So, so he sees me as higher up. So what's happening is he's leaving what he desires because he assumes I want first access. And I've already talked to him about that with other things. And I say, yes, that's right. If you see something you want, leave it alone because that might mean I want it. And I get first access, right? Every time he gives it to me, I say, good. That's our relationship. That's going to be anything we see walking in the world, right? A squirrel, a person, a dog, whether he's desires to eat it, to uh, go up and cuddle with it, or to fight with it. Leave it alone, right? Good. Break. Nice work, Whoa. now we can go check it out. Investigate it. What is this thing? That's good. Nothing interesting. And he leaves it alone. That's good. That's nice. I added value to it because he didn't see it as anything. No. And then once I added value by saying, leave it alone, let me deal with it, now he's like, this thing is valuable. <laughs> Much like a dog will grab a stick, throw it around a few times, get other dogs interested, and now that thing has value to yeah. it, right? Yeah. So, this guy's mind is just on the hierarchy a lot. Everything's about resources. My guess is the dog he's living with is some missing person. Yeah, that's the only way it would work out, is my guess. That's the only way it would work out. If they both were like this, there'd be some fights. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why they're saying. All right, we'll give you some privacy, bud. We're starting some follow work. We're stopping all that jumping, by the way. <laughs> Silent corrections for the jumping. Um, but the follow basically is <clears throat> Josh is going to continue the recall, walking backwards. Pops learns to follow him in a straight line, no jumping, no deviating. And then when he's really good at that, uh, it'll flip over into a heel. Okay, now he's released, he can go sniff, he can go wander. But when he hears that tone, it's an immediate recall back. There's a beep. We're continuing the recall. See, this time he's not jumping. He's still a little playful. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll tone that down a bit for the heel. Because remember, we want the heel to be calm, working mode. <laughs> but he's really with Josh, and that's a good thing. Notice how we made the mistake worse after Josh amped him up, right? There's no coincidence there. That's just goes to show how much the mind affects the movements of the body. And also, as the trainer, I want that mistake to come out. Yes. Just because then he's gonna be more relaxed. Yes. Because he tried it, right? Keeping him there, holding him there, and saying don't go after it is just gonna make him anxious.
Ya, ya, ya. Wow, good boy.